as I told you today, we're going to do a ball routine. Um, we'll try to do a, a one hour, 60 minute class. Maybe it will be less, we'll see. And uh, all you need is a chair. I have a chair behind me, if you can see, and uh, maybe a, a mat if you have at home, a couple of towels if you don't. And um, for weights, I don't have dumbbells at home. So I'm using um, water bottles. You need a, a couple of these or uh, cans of food, basically. Any cans of identical weights will do. And uh, yeah, whenever you're ready, let's start. I'm just going to take a sip of water and let's start. Um, going to be stepping backwards so you can all see. And we're going to start by doing the mobility for your ankles okay now you're going to have your legs underneath your hips you're going to lengthen your spine abdominals in roll your shoulders back and down hands on your uh, hand on your waist and we go we lift one heel and change we're still moving super slow i want you now to focus on keeping the the strength and tension in your abdominals kind of you want to imagine that you're lifting your body weight really using your abs rather than just relying on your legs and your knees okay we really want to start to activate as much as we can and uh, let's go for eight seven six five i'm not used to do bar without music three two and one now you have an option to stay to the side or if you want you're going to move uh, to face your your chair now we're going to go with double lift of the heels now as you lift your heels try not to move forward a lot and not, try not to lean backwards you really want to imagine someone is pulling you from the head lift your heels slowly lower down we're still moving slow lift 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 lower down and lift 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 activate your glutes activate your legs slow it down nice and lift 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 and lower down and keep your abdominals engaged. Lift, lift, lift. And lower down. And three. Good. And two. Nice work. And last one. Well done. Now we're going to start with plie. So I'm going to demonstrate this way. Plie basically means bending the knees, taking your tailbone under. We are still in parallel. So your knees are still following the line of your hips and still going on top of your toes so the knee alignment would be between the big and your second toe if you were to draw a line from your knee to your toes this line will land between the big and the second toe roughly and slowly come up and again plie and press 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 i'm having my hand here just to remind myself to keep my spine neutral and press 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 up if you can, tuck your tailbone a little bit under as you go down and press, 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 press to lift. And again, down, 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 and press, 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 press. As you see, this is not a big movement, it's super small. Good. And press, press, press. Last two. Good. Last one. Nice work. Good. Now, from here, we go into a small train. We're going to start by plie, lifting your heels off the floor, extending your legs up, lowering the heels down. One more time. Inhale, plie, lifting the heels, extend the legs, and lower down. Let's go again. Plie, lift your heels up, extend the legs, and lower your heels down. Let's go for two more and lift your heels and extend the legs and lower one more in this direction before we reverse it reach up and lower let's reverse now you come up first imagine you have this force coming from your arms now bend the knees lower your heels extend one more releve we bend the knees plie and heels down and extend and go for three, plie, bending the knees, lowering your heels, and extend two more, you've got this, and bend, we're just lubricating our joints now, 
Trust me, it will all get spicier towards the end, towards the middle of the workout. Now, let's keep our feet together. I'm going to activate the abdominals, wrap your abs around your waist. From your glutes, from your hip rotators, we're going to initiate a turned out position. Basically, we're going to turn out. So we're going to spiral those legs inside the hip socket. Then we're going to join the inner thighs together here. Activate to open, inner thighs to close. Activate to open, inner thighs to close. When I say activate, it's basically your glutes and your hip rotators that are making this motion possible for you. If you can brush the floor, that would be even more amazing to get more muscles working. And again, open, 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 and close, and open, and close. Nice, let's open to V, so we are, our feet are in V shape. Now, we're going to bend, plie, one, hold, bend for two, so we go from one level to the other, come up a level, hold, come all the way up, and again. Down, down, up, up. Now, as you're going, I want you to feel that tension always happening in the legs, always happening from the head to the tail when you're really trying to, or basically from the head to your heels, trying to resist. There's resistance within the body. And then again, down, down, up, up. Now you should really start to feel your legs starting to work. Press and press and down and down and press and press and down and down and press and press last three down up up two up up last one and up up beautiful down find your mid-range neutral spine we go for teeny tiny pulses let's go up an inch down an inch and two and three and four. So basically the movement is super small, but it is quite effective. And hi, hi Coco. And she just came into sleep. Let's go. My legs are feeling asleep right now. They're numb. Let's go for four. Three. How are we all doing? Two. One. Plie. And extend. Glute and thighs together. And continue to lift a little bit. Now maybe we can find a balance here. Keep your core active. Maybe we find the balance up here. Woo! <laughs> Keep closing your ribcage towards your hips. Reach, 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 reach. Slowly lower down. Shake it up. I know. Right. Now, let's go and start with our relevance. So again, V-shape. Activate your abdominals. We start. Lift and lower. So lift, lower as slow as you can, really press down and up and press, 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 press. You really want to feel that your entire body is one muscle. Everything is nice and tight. You're really taking pressure off your knees, pressure off your ankle joint, pressure off your toes when you really activate your core. So front and back side of your body are really active. Let's go for three. And two. Good. Last one, we're going to hold it up. Hold your rotor base. Now, glue your heels together. From here, we're going to start by bending the knees. While bending the knees, you don't have to reach the range where I am. You might be able to reach further down. You might be able to reach up to here. That's fine. Then we're going to extend the legs. And again, bend, extend. I'm going to inhale down. Exhale, lift, squeezing the heels together, down, and lift, let's up the arms, down, and up, down, and up, down, and up, last three, last two, last one, find your balance, we pulse, one, two, three, remember you always have the chair there for support if you need it, otherwise try to leave the chair now, and focus really on finding the balance within your body. Three, two, one. Reach it up. And slowly lower down. Shake your legs. Nice. Let's work now on our hip rotation. I think more people are joining. Hi, Sham. How are you? Let's go. Now, we're going to start with our heels together. Hands on your waist. Abdominals in. We're going to open the position. 
and close. Open, keep it open. Sorry, I got a disconnection in my brain. I just remember we just done this exercise. Lift your heel off the floor. Bring your knee in, reach it back out. Take your knee in, reach it back out. Now, as you do this, you want your hip bones to be facing forward. Nothing is happening to your hips. It's basically your uh, leg bone or femur that is moving in and out. Last two and last one. Beautiful. Let's place that heel down, other leg. Lengthen through the body before you start rotating in and out. And you'll notice the more you do this with repetition and with the breath, you're going to reach different range of motion. Perhaps you can open a little bit more and close a little bit more. Keep your length. We're not just sitting into that hip. We're really nice and tall here. And reach. And reach. Let's go for two. Last one. Wonderful. Shake your legs. Good job. Let's move on to do a squat. So I hope we're all familiar with the squat. I'll just explain really quickly. You have the chair there to support you. You're going to open your legs wider than the hips here. You're going to imagine that you're sitting in a chair, sending your hips behind your heels, pressing from the floor to come up. From the side, it will look like so. Again, legs wider than your hips. We go down, down, down. Down and press, squeeze your bum cheeks, activate your glutes, lift, activate your core. Keep your core active basically as you come down. Now inhale, little pressure, if not at all on the chair and press, 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 press. If you want to step back, take a step back and try to squat away from your chair. Good, last three. And press up, exhale. Last two, how are we all doing? You know what's my favorite part? Oh my gosh, you have no idea. We're going to hold it down. So let's hold it down. Let's pulse. One, two, three. Maybe the arms go up. Pulse your hips. Another eight here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Knee down. Reach up. And release. Good. Shake your legs. Now, we're going to come back to V-shape. I lied, we're not going to go back to V-shape. We're going to face the, the chair and, now let's point out that we're going to bend the knees a little bit. We're going to be tucking the tailbone under here. You're going to really try and close the gap between your ribcage and your hips and hip bones and then release back to neutral. And tuck and release. And tuck, imagine your Sliding between two walls and release. And tuck and release. It's a great massage for your lower back. And release. And tuck and release. And tuck and release. Last three. Good job. Last two. Last one. Now we go with a little bit of movement. We're going to. Lengthen the body, lift your heels, bend your knees. Now, you go for, let's go for two levels first. We go, tuck it in, release it out. Tuck it under, release it out. Up and up. So we take one tuck, one full tuck to go to come down and another one to reach our furthest position there. You go reverse, reverse. You always have the chair there. Tuck, release. Tuck, release. Tuck, release. Tuck, release. So again, we go. Release, tuck, release, tuck, release. Abdominals, nice and strong. And tuck, release, tuck, release, tuck. All my legs, all my quads, release. Tuck, release, tuck, release, tuck, release, tuck, release. One more tuck. We're going to tuck it in. Release to neutral. Now we pause. Pause. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Try to find the balance. Seven, eight, hold. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Basically, if you're shaking, your muscles are doing the job. Please extend. Let's find our balance here. Roll your shoulders back and down, open to the side. Nice work. Okay. 
we're going now to work a little bit with the i have new people joining your legs are shaking sarah yes 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 okay let's get those weights i'm just going to take a quick sip of water i'm talking as well so that dries up my throat so with my bottle of water now hopefully let's see uh, how we're going to um, achieve this now legs are going to be wide in second position as we call it so basically you were in the first position where you created the v and now just take steps to the side now we're going to hold the weight in any shape you want you can hold it here if you have a dumbbell you can also hold it in this way and we're going to come down one two up for two i'll just show you from the side in a second up for two remember your range of motion is different than anyone else you might be able to get lower than me or maybe a little bit higher it doesn't matter try to keep your spine neutral but remember it's not a sumo squat so we're not going back here instead we're still trying to get that tailbone fairly underneath press press good continue down down up up down down up how are we doing up down down up up last three down up up last two down up up last one down up up now last time find your mid-range somewhere that is challenging hold it there we're going to pulse we go one two three four five six how's the sweat going continue eight seven six five four three two plie extend the legs good job all right now just give yourself a nice shake are we still shaking sarah i hope so Woo! well done well done Pujan. good hi anya i hope you're joining the workout now we're going to stretch a little bit then we're going to add weights to our stretch starting with v hand on the bar make sure your hand is um closer it's basically having the right uh, you don't want basically to be too close and you don't want to be too far so you want just to be resting your arm in a nice position here a little bit forward to your shoulder open your leg to the side now we take our arm to second position we're going to reach back reach to the side come back to center make sure your body comes back to center reach to the side come back to the center reach the side try to enjoy the stretch your toes are still on the floor and come back to the center let's take two more reach 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 and center last time good job and center now we're going to combine this with a plie so i hope i have enough space here to go plie second reach up switch your body weight over your supporting leg this is the leg next to your chair reach up and again down let's see if we can pick up the speed if not you can go step to the same tempo that we started with that's totally fine what i want here is that we don't go plie reach up and extend plie and extend plie and extend last three last two last one good take a break shake it off we're going to do the same thing with weight quick sip of water and i'm with you mm. good now i don't know if you can see coco she's quite chilling on that chair now we're going to add weight so basically so if we go slow we're going to go plie and reach to the side you can pick a lighter weight always or you can also do the entire section with no weight at all it's totally up to you okay i'm really out of breath my heart rate is off the roof uh, let's go inhale good inhale 
inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale, reach. Nice. Let's go again. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale. Three more. And two. Really fatiguing that right leg, really fatiguing that left arm. Last one. Nice. Good job. Bring that bottle in front of, or weight in front of the body again. Second position one more time. And we go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Inhale. Inhale. Make sure your legs are always working against gravity. Resist, resist. All the way up as well. Activate your legs. Down and up. Good. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, last two, up, up, last one. Good job. Hold it there. Arms in front of the body. We're going to come down, plie, reach up. Now, if you have weight, double weights, you can do this with double weights. So you can hold two weights, come down, reach down, bicep curl reach up bend your elbows reach down curl reach up bend reach down and lift up and reach down and lift up and control your posture control your position abdominals always in down reach down and reach up good bend your elbows and extend. Good. Place your weights down. Now, we're going to come into a widely position one more time. We're going to come into our second position, halfway though. Don't come into your entire range. Now, you're going to lift one heel and press down on the other heel. So, if I was facing forward, imagine I'm holding a chair. Find your second position here. Lift and lower and place your heel down. Lift and lower. Place your heel down. Lift and lower. You can also do it with no chair here. Lift and lower. What's the sweating situation? I'm sweating like crazy. Good. And lift and lower. Nice. And lift and lower. You're really going to get a little bit more stretchy into that, um, into those hamstrings and inner thighs where you're lifting the heel and lowering more to get that stretch. Last two. Good job, last one. Nice work, good. Shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Now we're going to do a combination of squats with weights. So bear with me, I did not forget, we need to still do the other side. We're going to do it after our squats. So now, squatting. Basic squat, so we're going to come down and come up. Your arms are going to go into hammer curl, press up. Hammer curl and press up. Again, you're distributing your energy as you go down. Press the floor, extend the legs as you come up. Hammer curl down, exhale, press up. You're doing great. I can see you. Remember, I have eyes on the back of my head. Let's go for four, Woo. three, two, and last one. Let's hold it down. I know, I cheated. Press your arms back, bend your elbows. Press your arms back, bend your elbows. Basically, you want to extend the arms behind and above your hips as much as you can. Your head is in line with your table, in line with your spine. Abdominals in. Let's go for four. Woo. And three. Good job, you guys. And two. Last one. Hold it here. <laughs> I know, I like. Now only pause your arms. See if you can rotate your shoulders so that the palms are facing the ceiling and pause. Up. Two. Three. Four. Core is active. Hips behind your heels. You can do this. Let's go. Last three, two, one. 
and see if you can hold it here. Maybe you want to bring your arms forward. We're going to pause the hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Press up. Okay, that's it. I literally died. You guys are sweating a lot. Woo! How are we doing? Ah, Francesca, hello. Finally can see you. So the good news, we've done about 20 minutes and we have now the other side to do, so let's do it. Sorry, Coco. I have to move you. I know it's hard to move the chair with a cat, right? Good, take a moment and let's move on to the other side. Now, again, we're in V-shape, open to the side. Open your arm to the side. We start with our stretch, so it's very nice. Remember, your hand is at the front, in front of your shoulder. Reach up and over, return, return. Reach up and over, return, return. Take this opportunity to breathe. And breathe. Good job. That's it. Maybe two more. Time. Good. And back and back. Now we're going to add a plie. So arm in second position. Remember we do plie. From here we're going to press and extend. Your right toes or the toes that are towards the floor stay on the floor. And down. In my case it's my right toe. Maybe you are working your left side. And reach. And plie. It's more dynamic. Press. And plie, and press, and plie, and press. Last three, and press, last two, and press, last one, and press. Good job, shake it over, shake it off, shake it off. Let's get the weight. So again, you need one weight here. Uh, take a deep breath in. Reach your arms to the side and let's go. Down and reach. Down, really place your weight on that supporting leg. Activate it. You really want your glutes to be active, quads to be active. All the entire side is active. We're not leaning towards the chair. If anything, we're reaching away from it, from the waist. Reach, reach, reach. And down. Reach, reach, reach. One more. That's it. And break. Nice work. And take a moment. Roll your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders to the front. Now, we're going to come down back to face the chair. Legs wider than your hips. We're still in a rotated position. We're still in second position now. We're going to come down halfway, abdominals in, and we're going to try to lift one heel, lift the other heel. Good, and lower both heels. Now, we're going to keep alternating. So to start with, we're going to lift right heel, lift your left heel, plie a little bit, lower both heels, stay low. Again, lift your left heel now, right heel, plie a little bit, heels down. Right heel, left heel, plie get lower, heels lower. Left heel, right heel, plie a little bit, both heels down one more time. And really watch for that lower back. And up and lower, heels down. And lift and lift and lower, heels down. And maybe we lift both, maybe we lower both. And lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Keep lengthening your spine and booty in. Nothing is sticking out. I know, two more, please bear with me. And I'm dying as you are, let's press and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Maybe we find our balance, reach up, other arm up, hold. 
slowly down, lower your heels down. Give your legs a nice shake. Good job. I'm going to give you one minute, drink some water, and let's come back to do our upper body. We still have time. Let's go. One minute. Literally, I'm soaking. So how are we all doing? Hi, Oana. I hope you're doing the workout with me. <sighs> Let's see who else has joined. Hi, Tagarid. Lara, hello. Lara is my niece, by the way. She's 11 years old. Okay, let's see. All right. Is the minute over? Almost. Let's go 15 seconds and we start. Okay guys, we have one more section before we move on to our... Ah, oh, Eva and Ray are doing the workouts too, yay! Eva and Ray are just seven. Hi Eva, hi Ray, I miss you. As I'm self-isolating, I haven't seen my family for a very long time. They basically told me don't come over. <laughs> So, um, really missing them. Now, if we can, um, if you really want to find... Hi, Louis! I miss you so much. <laughs> okay, now we have, um, we have to get our weights one more time. Remember, weights are always optional. So, you have the, um, the option to use them or to omit using them. It's really up to you, especially if you feel pain in the neck and shoulders. Now. Let's come up to bring your weight open to V and we want to reach a second position here. So we're going to place the weight basically in front of the chest and just bend your knees so you can find a challenging position. So it's not very easy and it's not very hard on you. You're not very low where you basically cannot move. You're just in your mid-range basically. Now, reaching both arms in front of your body, we're going to start punching. Now, as you're punching, you're really activating your shoulders. I'm sorry, I lied. You're really stabilizing. This is what I want to say. You're stabilizing your rib cage and basically moving from your shoulder to punch with your arm. And then switch it. Punch. Okay. Still going on. Punch. And together. And punch. And together. We're doing this super slow. A, for your heart rate to stabilize a little bit more. And to get the quality of the movement and reach and back to the center and reach and back to the center and reach and we want to watch over our alignment now we're going to add a rotation so i'm going to take a plie i'm going to come up and rotate you see how that back foot is rotating the hips are rotating to face the corner punch to the corner come back to the center plie and punch. We'll do two more slow for you to get the gist of it. And reach. And center. And reach. And center. And reach. Last time slow before we pick it up. And reach. Let's go. Fast. Ready? Down. And reach. And down. And reach. And down. And reach. And down. And and reach let's go and down and reach four more down people are starting to ask of course how many more is i know and reach and reach good and center reach center reach center reach center reach keep your core active spine neutral 
Be careful not to push that tailbone backwards. Down, reach. Last two. Last one. To the left. Last one. To the right. Back to the center. Find your halfway pulse. One, two, three, four. Let's get maybe into deeper areas in our hips and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Clear and extend. Good work. Close your toes, heels, toes, heels. Place your weights to the side. Shake it off, guys. And it's been only two minutes. That's it. Okay, we're going now to do workout basically for the shoulders. So we're going to find the second position one more time. Your weights are with you, so grab your weights. I'm just trying to take a break. <laughs> so find your core, abdominals, and reach up. And now we go. Close, open. Now you close, open. When you close the first time, bring, for example, left underneath. Then the right underneath. Make sure you breathe. Watch your posture. And come lower into your plie. Good. Let's go four, five. And close. Can anyone tell me a joke? Now is a good time. And four. It will remind you to keep your core active. Three. And open. And open. Nashua is not here with us. She doesn't like to do bar, but every time she used to do reformer with me, she used to tell me, do you still want that orange juice? Basically, you want to tell them to squeeze the inner thighs to give me orange juice. Remember, this is your last time. Gosh. And rest. Good. Shake it up. Nice. Good work. Now, we're going to work a little bit more with the shoulders. Now, we're targeting your deltoid muscle. So, Reach your legs underneath your hips, back to parallel position. And from here, we're going to bend the knees ever so slightly, tuck your tailbone under. And we start with one arm. Reach one arm up, lower it down. Your arm can reach your shoulder or a little bit above. Or maybe it can reach here. It doesn't matter. Try to stay connected with your abdominals as you reach up, as you reach down. As you reach up, as you reach down. Nice. Keep lengthening your head away from your table. Feel tall through the spine. Good. And we've moved to do double arms. And reach. And lower. Keep your core active. And reach. And lower. Down. Nice. As you inhale, exhale. Last two. Reach. And lower. And last time. Reach and lower. Nice. Take a break. Now just lift and oh, make sure your shoulders are in one line. Honestly, I'm dripping with sweat. I did not expect this workout to be so intense. Ah. No, I'm not kidding. I know my, my workouts are a little bit woo, sweaty, on the sweaty side. And reach, 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 reach. Good. Enjoy your stretch to the side. And reach one more. And back to the side. Nice work. Let's place the weights down. I'm going to give you, again, one minute. And we'll come back to work our core. I'm going to remove the chair now. We're done with the chair. And let's bring our mats back.
my sister is asking how how long is left it's 20 minutes okay so when you're ready guys let's come down to the mat now you will need your weights maybe we will use them maybe not okay now we're going to start at the edge of your mat we're going to do basically a flow i'll show you once we're going to start with legs hip width apart inhale reach your arms up reach your arms down start to roll down from the chin allow your head to be heavy here keep your abdominals in so the belly is pulling in and up keep reaching down reach down reach down until you feel you cannot reach anymore and you need to bend your knees now it's the time bend your knees walk forward into your plank hold your plank hold it there keep your abs active hold that plank for three two one now we're going to come back with a twist you're going to take your right hand twist your knees to the right side and push your hips back place your hand behind your left hand now twist again remove your left hand place it back twist your knees to the left and keep moving right hand behind the left twist to the right left hand behind back to the center now roll up and roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up. We'll do this one more time. Inhale. This time around, in our plank, we're going to be tapping our shoulders. Roll down. Make sure your weight is distributed in the center of the foot. Abs in. Come down until you cannot reach anymore without bending your knees. Start to bend your knees and walk forward. And you are here. Now. I don't know if you can see, we're going to tap the shoulders. As you tap, we're trying to minimize the movement in the hips as much as we can. Last three. And two. And one. Now, you're going to remove your left hand, twist your knees to the left. Place your hand on the mat. Then, move and twist your knees to the right side. And move back. And twist, 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 twist. And back to the center. And softly roll back up. Good. One more time. We're going to roll up. This time around, we're going to find the floor and never come up. So come down. Again, roll down nice and easy. Keep your abs in, lifting up, abdominals in. and start to lower down bend your knees and let's walk to find our plank once you find your plank from here we're going to tap your knees reach up tap down press and lift tap down press and lift tap down press and hold hold it up hold 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 count 10 9 8 7 6 5 Four, keep pushing away, three, two, one, both knees down really gently and elegantly, push back into shell stretch, well deserved. Woo. And keep pushing, keep breathing deeply as you breathe in and as you breathe out, slowly roll up, good. Now, we're going to slowly find our mat. We're going to do a little bit of oblique work. But we are still uh, seated. Bring your weight, depending on what weight you are using. For me, I can only hold one bottle. It's not possible for me to hold two. Maybe I'll try. I'll give it a go, actually. I'm not sure if it's feasible, but let's try. Again, remember, you don't have to use weights. They're only optional. Now. Your legs one more time, knees in line with the hips. We're going to start with the neutral spine. If you notice here, you, you will have a curve in your spine, okay? Now, to start with, very gently to warm up the lower back. It's already warm, but just to get us warm and uh, used to this movement. Start by placing your hands behind the back if you're uh, new to this routine. And if not, we're going to reach our arms parallel to the floor. We're going to inhale, scoop the belly under, roll. Roll, 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 roll. And to come up. Maybe we reach the arms up. 
Okay, when I say maybe, it means it's not mandatory. It means if you've been practicing for a while and you'd like a challenge, please go for it. Now it's time to activate the pelvic floor. If you have no idea about what I'm talking about, ignore me for today. I'm going to do a Pilates lesson tomorrow. Make sure to join that and we elaborate on the pelvic floor a little bit more. And reach up, reach up, reach up, reach up. Well done, let's go two more. Now you remember someone push you in the tummy, roll down, melt down on your seat bones. And exhale to come up. And reach up. And scoop your belly under, scoop your belly under, scoop your belly under, scoop your belly under. We're holding here, we're pulsing. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Do you feel that burn? Two, one, press up and take a break. This burn is going to escalate over the next few layers. So bear with me. Whew. Ah, right, now we're going to add weights. I'm going to hold again my water bottles and reaching arms forward, keep them parallel. Scoop the belly under, roll down, inhale. Exhale, come up. Now, only parallel if you can extend up. But please be careful. You don't want to feel any pain in the neck and the shoulders. Inhale to lower. And press up. Reach, 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 reach. And again. Scoop it under. Scoop, 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 scoop. And exhale to press up. Last two, scoop, 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 scoop. Inhale. Less and less tension in the legs and hip flexor. More tension in the abdominals. Really think that you're pulling your entire weight from your deep abdominals. And again, scoop the leg under. And reach up, reach up, reach up, reach up. Slowly place your weight down. Take a teeny tiny break, shake your arms. Fall forward, relax your head, move side to side. Woo. All right, sweating is really good. I hope you are sweating. We're releasing a lot of toxins today and elevating our mood and boosting our immune system. So now we're going to work with obliques. Just make sure that you have space around you. You basically need an elbow space around. I'm going to try first with a, with a lighter weight. So I'm going to hold one bottle of water, place it in front. If you're holding dumbbells, you can place, uh, hug your dumbbells in the center of the body like so. Elbows to the sides, open a little bit as if you're hugging a balloon. So you always want to keep a circle, okay? You always want to keep a, a space that is hollow in front of your body. Now, let's go. Inhale, prepare, scoop the belly under. I imagine I have two bottles now. And let's exhale. Inhale to return to the center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale to the center. Make sure there's always space between the bottles and your chest. You're not playing a lot with the upper body. We're stabilizing the upper body here. And inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, two more. Inhale, and exhale. Make sure your knees are not playing around, so they're still in line with your hips. I sometimes even caught, catch myself cheating, especially when doing rotation, rotation work, and last time. Back to the center, hold, take a breath in, relax your shoulders, activate your abs, reach up, roll up through the spine, slowly place your weights down, and here, relax your legs, shake your legs on the mat, reach your arms up, and keeping your spine tall, just reach forward. Reach forward, and wherever you can catch, maybe your quad, maybe your knee, maybe your shins, wherever you can hold on to, just keep pressing and breathing. Calm yourself. Calm your breath. Keep your abs in. Keep lengthening that spine in the back. 
and slowly we're going to fall forward and reach forward. Slowly rolling up, dragging your hands, brushing your hands basically on the mat and releasing off. Let me check how much time we have left. Good. Now, I would really like to do some push-ups. It's an area where I'm really rubbish at, in basically. So uh, let's take this opportunity to make those arms a little bit stronger, to work a little bit on the chest muscles. If your knees are a little bit um, sensitive, or if you have issues with your knees, you may want to bring um, you may want to bring towels for this exercise. I will give you more than one variation. I'm just going to get the small towel and wrap it around, basically just roll it so that I have some cushion underneath my knees. So basically, when you are going for a push up. You can always do your push-ups against the wall, um, on the floor with your knees down, or if you want to more challenge, you can go with the knees off the floor. Now, we're going to come, let's set our push-up up first. We're going to come to four-point kneeling, okay? Now, your spine is going to be in imprint position, so it's not neutral, we're going to tuck the table in a little bit. Measure one hand in front of the other on your mat, then take it across your mat, okay? So on your mat, you want your thumb inside the mat and four fingers out of, outside of the mat. Then take the other hand and place it exactly on the other side. Same thing. Thumb inside, four fingers out. Now, press and push your hips forward, tuck your table under, activate your abdominals. Now we go, we inhale one, bend, Exhale to lift. Again, the range of motion here is different for everyone. You might be able to, your nose to reach the floor. Maybe not. And down. And press. And down. And press. Four more. Down. And press. And three. Keep tucking your tailbone under abdominals in two. Press equally into both arms. Last one. And let's take a break here. Push back and take a shell stretch. Whew. Good. Now we're going to do another variation. We're going to go, um, we're going to press and count to three. So we're going to go one hold, two hold, three hold, press for one. Okay, so when you are holding, basically you're still breathing in. So this is one, two, three, exhale, press. Same setup, four point kneeling, there's always space between your knees, hands on each side of your mat, push your hips forward, tuck your tail going under, abdominals, and we go one, hold, two, three, exhale, press up, and one, two, Three, exhale, press up. Do you feel your core active? One, two, three, press up. You always have the option to do this with the knees lifted. One, two, three, press up. One, two, three, and again. One, two, three, last two. One, two, three, and one, one, two, three, press up, knees down softly, take a shell stretch, this time bring your hands inside of your mat, in line with your shoulders, don't let your hips touch the heels, rather keep them higher than around your back, and hold it here for a few breaths, try to inhale to lengthen your spine towards the ceiling, exhale to lower down, by lowering down, it's just the release of the spine, but you keep your abdominals in. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last time, as you exhale now, slowly take your hips backwards. 
and reach your arms to the front, to the front, to the front, to the front. Take a few breaths in. Nice. We're going now to keep our hands where they are. Reach up, tuck your uh, toes under and press into a downward dog position. Now, we're going to walk the feet. This is the section where we're just relaxing and bringing the heart rate down and really trying to breathe. Try to breathe and be mindful of where maybe you have spots where you need to send more oxygen to. Just think about those spots. Keep walking your feet. Good. Now, let's lift both heels off the floor. Come on your tippy toes. Weight is on the shoulders. Press your heels down. Keep your abs in. You might want to keep your knees uh, bent. That's totally fine. Press your chest towards the mat. Now, we're going to lift the right leg up. Bend your knee into your chest. Press to the front. Keep your knee on the floor. And slowly come up. You may want to keep your hands on the floor. If it's in your practice to have blocks here, please go ahead and use blocks. If not, we try also to reach, we can also try and reach our shoulders on top of the hips and just take an inhale to lengthen, lengthen the section and then exhale to really drop the hips down to the floor. Take a few breaths here. Really nice and slow. It really feels good to stretch those legs after all that hard work. Well deserved, you guys. I'm so proud of you. And you're actually motivating me because otherwise, if I'm not teaching, I don't know what to do. I'm just going crazy. I teach a lot of hours and I'm so used to human interaction. So this is a great platform to be able to share, you know, things that I love with all of you guys. Now, let's see if we can take right. Actually, let's start with the left hand up. So if you're having the right leg up, uh, leg, the right leg in the front, sorry. Try to take your left hand and reach forward. Remember, abdominals are always active here and we're always squeezing your left glute to create more open space in the hip. Reach your other arm up. Reach, reach, reach and lengthen. Take a deep breath in. Slowly open to the side now. Again, hands on the floor or on your blocks. Reach your leg back and flex your toes. So you want your toes to be facing you, looking you in the face. And from here, you're going to, either we are high up here, you can place your hands on your thighs, activate your abdominals and lean forward. If you can, reach to your blocks, if you have some or books next to you. If not, we're reaching to the floor if it's possible. Keeping your spine nice and tall. Taking a few breaths here. Good, and really enjoy the stretch while we can. Now slowly we come back forward, so we're bending again the right leg. Let's see if we can bend the back leg. Maybe we can bend it, maybe we can reach back, maybe we can hold it, if we can hold it, wherever you are, we can squeeze and bring it closer. And again, Watch for your alignment, your front knee, I don't know if you can see now on the screen, your front knee is in line with your ankle. So they're making 90 degree angle. Now if you can, open your chest to the ceiling as much as you can, as much as you can. It's a good stretch here. Slowly release everything. And bring that leg back. Shell stretch one more time. From shell stretch, we're going to come up into downward dog. From your downward dog, we're going to bend the knees. Now lift your left leg up, reach, reach, reach. Bend your knee into your chest. Bring it in front of your mat. I'm just going to slide a little bit back so you can see me. And either we're reaching forward. Yes, either we're reaching forward. Maybe we have the blocks here. Maybe we can lengthen here. Keep lengthening your spine, keep your abdominals in. Reach your arms up. 
First, you can reach your right arm up, then maybe the left arm up and keep reaching back. Make sure to squeeze your right glute, activate your abdominals and breathe. Slowly release the arms down, hands on the floor one more time and press back. We want to go into hamstring stretch. Um, allow your toes to look you in the face. And from here, maybe hands on your hips. Make sure your hips are square and we're not turned out or out of alignment. And slowly, slowly bring the chest towards the floor and reach, 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 reach. Make sure to calm your breath. Take a few breaths here and inhale and exhale enjoy your stretch then slowly bring your hands back on the floor reach and bend your front knee now maybe we can bend that back leg now i'm going to open to the other side so reach your left hand and try to grab your right your right foot and twist squeeze your bum Sink into that, lunge a little bit deeper. Make sure your knee is not, again, opening to the side or doing anything funny. And breathe, 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 breathe. Slowly release and come back on the floor. I'm going to sit on my knees, but feel free to sit in any way that is comfortable to you. I know we might have run over time, but I love to stretch at the end of the class. Let's bend one arm in front of the body. Hook it from underneath and push it towards your body. And take a few breaths here. Taking a deep breath. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. And then slowly slide your elbow inside the palm of your hand. Take your arm up and stretch it back. Keep lengthening your spine. Maybe we go for a side bend here. And slowly return. Reaching up. Take your arm in front of the chest and bring it in front of the body. And pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. And slide your elbow inside your hand, the palm of your hand. Reach up and Stretch your elbow towards the back. Wonderful tricep stretch here. Reach your arms up, reach your arms to the sides. And interlace your fingers and push away from you. Curve your back. You're curving your back here. You're pushing, 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 pushing. Release and open. Relax your shoulders and slowly arms down. Let's uh, stand up slowly. I have cut hair everywhere, I promise. Now we're going to reach our arms up, gather the energy, tense your entire body and release it in whichever way you want. Bounce, 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 bounce. Let's go again, inhale. And exhale. Just anything that feels comfortable, maybe you want to shake it up, shake your legs, shake whatever you want. And again, inhale. Shake your booty if you need to, and last time we're not shaking the stand, we just go inhale, reach your palms up, and last time I'll tell you, activate your abdominals, bring your palms in front of the heart, let's be thankful for what our bodies allowed us to do today, thank you everyone for joining me, it was a blast, I love to see all of your names on the chat, I give you big kisses.